Hey, welcome to Transformation Church, the number four. You see the logo up there, and we are the dot com. I am Pastor Becky, and um, my husband, Pastor Eddie, and I are the lead pastors of Transformation Church. We're in Central Florida, and right now we're meeting in three different locations. And so um, we'd love to meet you. Um, anyway, so we are on part three of Walking in the Favor of God, and um, I'm taking these uh, points from... Jerry Savelle, um, pastor, doctor, I think he's now become a doctorate, Dr. Jerry Savelle, but he's a, um, a reverend, Jerry Savelle, 10 benefits of the favor of God. And number one, just to recap, and then we'll go into, um, today we're covering four and five favor produces supernatural increase and in promotion, Genesis 39, 21. And I say, um, in the name of Jesus, favor is producing supernatural increase and in promotion in my life. Number two, in the name of Jesus, favor is producing restoration of everything that the enemy has stolen from me, Exodus 3.21. Number three, in the name of Jesus, favor produces increased assets, especially in the area of real estate, Deuteronomy chapter 33.23. Um, now, for today, and again, if you're just tuning in, I'm Pastor Becky, Transformation Church, <laughs> Formation Church. you see the logo up there, and we're the dot com. And number five, and I would say it like this, because I'm saying these things every day, um, taking the challenge to, to do it 30 days in a row. But in the name of Jesus, favor is producing great victories in the midst of great impossibilities. So um, the scripture verse that we give that, so in the name of Jesus, favor is producing great victories in the, in my life in the midst of great impossibilities. You, do you have something that looks really impossible to you? Are you facing something um, overwhelming? Well, Joshua 11.20 says in the King James Bible, For it was of the Lord to harden their hearts that they should come against Israel in battle, that he might destroy them utterly, and that they may, might have no favor, but that he might destroy them as the Lord commanded Moses. So again, that's the scripture reference, and the, its favor produces great victories in the midst of great impossibilities. The Israelites were slaves for the, to the Egyptians. They were not trained warriors, and yet God caused them to have great victory over their enemy. And so God will cause you as well, if you take the word of God, favor will produce for you great victories in the midst of great impossibilities, where it seems like maybe you don't have the, um, you know, the, maybe you've gotten a bad report from the doctor, you know, heart disease, cancer, whatever, lymphoma, um, just or some bad news. And, um, and it looks impossible. The doctors aren't sure because it's the kind of thing where it's not your normal thing and they know what to do. Well, God will produce, favor is going to produce for you great victories in the midst of great impossibilities. And I love that because, um, you know, God is great. <laughs> I used to say when I was a little girl, the little prayer, God is great. God is good. Let us thank him for our food. And it goes on and on. But God really is great. He's a great God. He is the God of the universe. He is the God that created you. And it's a piece, whatever you're facing today, it is a piece of cake for Jesus. And I just want you to just start confessing favor over your life. Um, in the midst of, I believe, what's almost over, I believe the pandemic's almost all but done. But even in the midst of a pandemic, the, why am I talking about this? Because the Holy Spirit said to. You know, all kinds of people are talking about the negative stuff going on, and there's plenty of that going around. But God can give you favor, great favor, not just favor, but great favor in the midst of great impossibilities. So whatever it is you're believing for, whether it's, you know, transformation stands for healing, spiritually, physically, mentally, and financially, um, which affects your relationships, your business dealings, and everything else. So whatever, you know, whether it's in your physical body, whether it's spiritually, you're just you know, numb, you're having a struggle. Um, maybe, you know, you were exposed to pornography and you're struggling with that. Um, and it feels like it's just impossible to get s set free from maybe drugs or whatever it is that you're addicted to food, overeating, um, that whatever that is, God will, great favor is going to give you great victories in the midst of great impossibilities. So just receive that today and begin to speak that, that I'm having a great victory over whatever it is spiritually, physically, mentally, financially, in your relationships, and your business dealings, in the midst of great impossibilities. Okay, so number, um, I got hung up on that one, number um, six. So 
we did one and two on Monday, we did three and four on Tuesday, and today we're doing five and six. Ten Benefits of the Favor of God by Jerry Savelle that I'm using. And um, and I'm Pastor Becky. If you're just tuning in, trans you'll see the logo up there, transformationchurch.com. We're the .com. Contact us there. You can give there. Um, walk in the favor of God. Number six, favor produces recognition even when you seem the least likely to receive it. Um, maybe you feel like you've been a wall, what they call a wallflower here in the United States. Um, let me get the scripture out for us. And what is a wallflower? Um, if you're not understanding that euphemism, what we, you know, that how, what what that means to us here, basically you just blend in with the wall. You know, you you're there, but nobody seems to notice you. Nobody recognizes you. You might as well be the wall because you're just. It's. Have you ever felt like, you know, uh, uh, am I invisible or what? And um, now I haven't felt that way so much in a room as because of my personality. I'm very outgoing and I'll, I'll strike up a conversation. So that wouldn't be me. But there have been times when you're driving somewhere and it seems like cars, several cars almost hit you. And I'll feel like, am I invisible or what? So, um, but God said he's, again, I'm going to read it. Favor produces recognition even when you seem the least likely to receive it. So I say it like this. In the name of Jesus, favor is producing recognition even when I seem the least likely to receive it. And you, oh, I keep bumping it. I apologize. Um, so just, and the scripture is 1 Samuel 16, 22. And, Sa and Saul sent to Jesse saying, let David, I pray thee, stand before me for he has found favor in my sight. And at that point, David was about the least likely to find favor in Saul's eyes. But he, um, but God caused him, David, to have favor in the, the least likely to have favor with the king and um and god wants you to know that you might be the you know make maybe you feel like you're the one that last person to get chosen for the team you know the the baseball softball team or whatever and um you know just that kind of thing but favor can cause you to be the first person to be chosen and um so i just want to encourage you to say those daily go over and say these um, things over yourself the 10 benefits of walking in the favor of God and as you say it you're actually attracting those things to come to you and that's the law of attraction which is scriptural you know it, it, the Bible says as a man or a woman thinks in their heart so are they if, if you think you can't do something you're, you can't do it if you think that with God I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me because that's what the Word of God says, and you get that in your heart and in your mind and in your mouth and you speak it, then you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So favor is producing great victories in the midst of great impossibilities, and favor is producing recognition for me even when I seem the least likely to receive it, and that's 1 Samuel 16, 22. And I encourage you to say that. Some of you are looking to have promotions at work. Some of you are looking to have favor to, to get a job, and maybe you're the least likely. Maybe you're um, which you, you feel like you're the least qualified person to get that that um, position or that that um, part in the uh, play that you'd like to be in or um, you know whatever it is just trust God and begin to know that you're walking in the favor of God and as you walk in the favor of God it causes you to be noticed and it, and again it says and I'm in the name of Jesus favor is producing recognition even when I seem the least likely to receive it. So, can you know, just start to confess and uh, speak the words of life over yourself and watch the favor of God. I would love to hear your testimonies about that. You know, yesterday we talk, talked about receiving houses and lands. I encourage you to go back and listen to the first two days and then this day. They're, they're all pretty short. I'm trying to do that on purpose. Um, and I'm going to pray for you. Um, first thing is... If you're not 100% sure if you were to die today that you'd go to heaven, I want you to repeat this prayer with me. Say, Heavenly Father, I believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe Jesus died on the cross for me. I believe Jesus was buried. I believe Jesus rose from the dead on the third day. I admit I'm a sinner. I ask you to forgive me. I receive your forgiveness. Hey, yeah. Woo -hoo. Take my life and do something wonderful with it. Fill me with your sweet Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Woohoo! 
Woo! If you prayed that prayer with me, that God is rejoicing over you. We're singing, singing, the angels are rejoicing, all of heaven is rejoicing, and I'm rejoicing with you because we're we're the family of God. You're my new brother or my sister in the Lord. So welcome into the family of God. Again, if you've just tuned in, I'm Pastor Becky, TransformationChurch.com. You'll see the logo up there. I ask that really helps us because it helps Facebook and YouTube recognize that people want to hear things that are godly, not, you know, and that, so just if you'll like us, heart us, share, subscribe, depending on where you're watching me and when you're watching. So that would really, really help. And I appreciate it. So I'm asking for a favor from you. Um, so, you know, that, that you'll help me help us get this thing um, recognized with, with YouTube and with Facebook. Anyway, uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray favor and blessing upon every person watching favor in the city, favor in the country, favor with everything that they put their hand to. Father, you said you surround us with favor like a shield. Father, that they will be um, recognizing the favor of God, speaking the favor of God over themselves. Father, for every person suffering with a, um, a broken heart, you know, somebody's just hurt, totally hurt, crushed, stomped all over their heart. Father, I pray you said you heal and bind up the brokenhearted. So, Father, for the emotional emotionally brokenhearted, I speak healing and wholeness and favor in Jesus name. And Father, for the physical heart um, muscle that may be not working right, Father, I speak healing and wholeness from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet, tips of our toes to our fingertips. We receive 1 Peter 2.24 and we side in with the word of God. We decree the word of God. It is written, Satan, by Jesus Christ stripes, I was healed. First Peter two twenty four. That means I am healed. I walk in divine health in Jesus name. And you need to say that over yourself. Be healed in Jesus name. And I believe right as you're watching this, um, he, I'm hearing the Holy Spirit say, healings are popping like popcorn. And um, <laughs> woohoo! So again, contact me transformationchurch.com, and there's a contact me area there. And um, I did find out that some of you have been contacting me at Pastor Becky at TransformationChurch.com and we're having some difficulties. So I'm working on that. So hopefully we'll have that fixed real soon. So maybe a good idea at this point to, at the, um, if, if you're not getting a response from me, that means I just didn't get it because I will respond. Um, also, you can just contact me through Facebook. That would work. Um, love you. God bless you. In Jesus' name, may the favor of God manifest mightily in your life. God loves you. We love you. Come see us in Central Florida. I'm Pastor Becky, Transformation Church. Bye-bye. Thank you for tuning in.